um, will be uh, Tuesday. Okay. Will be Tuesday, March 19th, 2019. Um, Meeting of the Wilma Public Library District Board of Trustees, please come to order. Uh, Madam Secretary, Jan, could you please call the roll? I certainly will. Trustee George? Here. Trustee McDonald? Here. Trustee Olafson? Here. Trustee Barsh is here. Trustee Wolf? Here. And Trustee Johnson? Here from the Capitol. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Dan, you can hear us all? I can. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so, so I know for the record that we can hear Dan and Dan can hear everybody here. Um, the minutes of the February 19th, 2019 meeting are located behind attachment one. That's our regular monthly meeting. Could I get a motion to approve the minutes? I motion to approve the minutes. A second. A second? Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, located behind tab two are the minutes of the special board meeting. Um, that uh, were for the purpose of um, reviewing and approving bids in connection with our outdoor renovation project. That meeting was on March 5th, 2019. Can I get a motion to approve? I will motion to approve. Second. Uh, Stuart mm -hmm. move. Jan second. Jan second. Uh, can I, all in favor? Aye. 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 Well, who seconded that one? I did. Jan. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, presentations, none, public comment. Any members of the public wishing to comment? Um, move on to the treasurer's report. Uh, in the absence of the treasurer, I will deliver the treasurer's report. Uh, located behind, uh, financial reports are located behind tab three. Um, no, noteworthy is at least some of our tax revenue came in before by the end of February. Uh, taxes, of course, would do March 1st. Presumably there is a, will be another, uh, uh, some of uh, general fund taxes in our next report. Um, our expenses are at 63%, uh, very slightly less than 66. Um, once again, um, ensuring that we are really exactly on, you know, pretty exactly on budget for what uh, we intended to spend. Um, nothing in particular to draw your attention to. Um, I guess the one thing that I always look at because I was here and was involved talking with the attorney with respect to the rest of the trust funds and I'm glad to see that um, there are funds um, that there are expenses being charged to that amount was uh, by a donor uh, to support the uh, Armchair Travels Program. Yes. Um, are there any questions with respect to the finance report? I, we'll, you'll notice later in the meeting that we're going to talk. We're going to have a finance committee. We're getting ready to start the budget cycle mm -hmm. again. Um, and we anticipate looking at the budget again in the um, April time frame. So, um, any qu if there are no questions, I'd move on to the uh, checks uh, located um, in detail on um, behind tab four. Um, could I get a motion to approve the checks? Is set forth there. So moved. I'll second that. And Jenny second. Any discussion? Um, just a, a question <clears throat> on how this this works. I probably should have asked Barb. But on the uh, page three, we have annex income from Friends of the Library of two hundred and sixty-three dollars and something, and then on page nine we have $1,000 for friends' purchases. So how, how does that work? The $1,000 is given, taken from the friends, I and mean, the friends donate that $1,000, and it counts to the total of what we take in. Correct. Is that correct? We reflect the in and out. OK. So the we annex the income checks, is somewhat the us. same thing. OK. OK, it's been moved and seconded. Um, Jen, could you call the roll on that? Sure. Trustee George? Aye. Trustee McDonald? Aye. Trustee O'Loughlin? Aye. Trustee 
Trustee Harshis, aye. Trustee Wolf? Yes. And Trustee Johnson? Yes. Okay, uh, then action items. We, uh, the only item attached as located behind attachment <clears throat> five, <clears throat> excuse me, um, a proposal for, from CBI, our computer folks, uh, for switches. Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell us a little bit about switches? Sure. Um, so the switch infrastructure replacement is part of a planned um, computer infrastructure upgrade. Um, as you'll see in the executive summary that was prepared by um, the president of the company who administers um, our contract with land management group computer view, um, she's kind of set forth the reason why we would be um, going forward with the switch upgrade. Um, essentially what this upgrade allows us to do is to replace infrastructure that has been in place for over 10 years. It's at the end of its life cycle. And this upgrade allows us to take full um, advantage of the fiber optic network that we have recently upgraded to. Mm -hmm. um, so this allows all the endpoints that the library connects to, that being the uh, computers, the wireless access points, um, our servers, all of the infrastructure that's tied into our network will be able to perform at its peak level of performance as a result of this infrastructure in, um, upgrade. It also allows us to um, uh, expand the, the infrastructure so that we can add additional endpoints to it in the future. Um, that could help to facilitate um, the phone system upgrade, which is another capital improvement project that we'll have going forward. If we were to look at a voice over IP solution, um, this infrastructure would go uh, a distance to helping to um, facilitate that process. Um, so this is actually a planned um, project that is part of the uh, corporate budget. Um, uh, so it's part of um, the individual line items for um, our technology infrastructure improvement for this year. And I'm um, happy to entertain any questions that you may have about the project. Um, could I, uh, before we open discussion, could I get a motion to approve uh, the budget? I suppose somebody in Ron Rogers fashion ought to uh -huh. move yeah. to do like yes. 45 or exactly. 44 or something. 44,000. <laughs> yes, I will, I will move to, to approve a budget of $44,000 for this uh, switch upgrade uh, for the library. And I second it. Okay, and at least a second. All right, okay. any discussion on the motion? So, I did. Thank you. So, what do you? I've got two questions. When you're. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm. Uh, you, uh, Lisa has the floor at this point. What you had a question? Uh, it's it's regarding uh, other planned upgrades that are in the plan. In terms of, so that's what I was just curious about, but it's not related to this. So. You, we can vote on that motion if you answer this question. It's it's more about long range planning in terms of what the other what, what you foresee. Well, happening. that's part of it. Um, so this infrastructure is basically just is part of our computer equipment that is part of a replacement cycle. So at the beginning of this last fiscal year, when we did our budget planning, um, no, I know about IT this. IT staff brought forward. I know proposal. about this one. I'm just asking about are there other planned in this year or what's. Um, the only other item that's a, a big ticket item that has been uh, budgeted for within the general operating fund for this year is replacement of the digital display display monitors, and we currently don't do not do not have a quote for that at this time. But that's another piece that would be coming forward as part of our replacement cycle. Okay, thank you, Dan. Dan, so, uh, Dan you had a, a comment or a question. Thanks. Yeah, did Anthony? Did did you guys uh, bid this out? or think about bidding it out. Could you talk about that, please? Sure. Um, this project actually did, did not need to go out to bid because um, HP has a partnership with ComputerView Incorporated. Um, they're a partner that extends government pricing to all of their um, contracted um, uh, members. So. Um, by being uh, in a partnership uh, under contract with ComputerView, they're able to extend uh, the general pricing that they would extend in a normal bid um, to the library. So this is rock bottom pricing that we would have on these products. I mean, do we um, do we have a maybe this is more for the board, or just for my education? Is there a level above which we have to bid things out? That do we have a policy on that? Does, could somebody restate the question so that? Oh. Are, do we 
Yeah, no, I mean, is there Dan's any question is: Is there a is there a budget minimum under which we, as a board, have to approve uh, of a, of, a, of an opening uh, open bid process for uh, a, 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 an improvement to the library? It's true. Um, a, a project that is typically over $25,000 would go out for a public bid. Um, this particular project would be deemed a sole source. Um, we have an existing partnership and we have the ability to capitalize on um, the, the very base pricing um, for this project. So we would not be able to really achieve the exact same result. We have very specific products that we're looking for to, to put into this solution. Um, so because we're able to get the competitive pricing on this, this is one of the exclusions that would be outside of the bid process. So we're able to extend this um, this proposal as, as presented. How long is our contact? Well, just give me a follow-up. Do you have a follow-up question about that, Dan? Um, an exclusion under our policy or under state law that would require a bid? That's, that's right. Our policy incorporates the, uh, the bid process um, policies that are in the state statutes. Our policy currently states that anything over 20 would be subject to a public bid, um, though the statutes indicate that it's over 25. Uh, but again, in this instance, this is a sole source, and the statute specify that we are allowed to go forward with this proposal per our contracted agreement with CBI. Because we also did it with furniture because we got a government contracted right. and we, uh, prices right. when we bought furniture that was and, cheaper than if we went out on our own. Right, and we did, and we did, we did do some side yes. research which verified mm -hmm. that the government rate was going to be was going to be by far it was it was a, it was a significant saving. So so by extension, <coughs> this would be the same circumstance. It's very similar yeah. to that. There yeah. are a number of, of groups that work in a kind of consortial agreement to extend government pricing to um, government entities like schools and park districts and libraries and so on. Yeah. So it was very 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 efficient, very good. Is, is there any further discussion? And then uh, another question is. Um, if this is thought to last eight or ten years, is this a better fit for our capital budget than for our annual operating budget? A project like this is, it, yeah, so Dan is asking, is a project like this eligible for use out of the building and equipment fund, which is our reserve fund? Um, and yes, this is a capital infrastructure improvement. Um, a project like this could be expended from reserve. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, this particular project, when the budget process was put forth for the 18-19 fiscal year budget, um, the committee elected to include this in the general fund. Um, so we did, in fact, levy for this as part of the general fund for um, this current fiscal year. Going forward, if we wanted to do a project like this in its next cycle as part of the um, uh, building and equipment fund out of reserves, it would certainly be eligible for that, and that, that would be a strategic um, approach that the board could take at that time. Thank you. Those are all my questions. Okay. Um, in that case, we have a motion on the floor. Uh, it's been moved and seconded. Jan, could you call the roll? I certainly will. Mm. Trustee George? Yes. Trustee McDonald? Aye. Trustee O'Loughlin? Aye. Trustee Barsis? Yes. Trustee Wolf? Yes. And Trustee Johnson? I'm, I'm going to vote no because I'd prefer this come out of the capital fund. Okay. But it looks like a good investment. Okay, uh, the next item is the, um, as I mentioned in the Treasurer's report, we need to do a um, scheduled finance committee meeting. Um, Ron Rogers is the chair, Trustee Johnson and McDonald, and our members of the committee, as am I, as, as president. Um, all trustees are invited to attend. Um, and I should note that, you know, our board culture has been that, in particular for this meeting, most trustees try to attend this meeting because it's a chance, and maybe prospective trustees, it's a chance to really get a chance to go over each item. Anthony and Barb will be there. You know, it, it's more or less than last year, and this is the reason why. And it's the one time, um, and of course this is an open meeting, is it? but it's a chance to really go over each line item in a way that um, is very helpful, I think, for everybody. So I would encourage when we get that date, 
that to the extent people can. Uh, we talked a time frame for that, um, and we'll offer a variety of times, morning, afternoon, evening, and see where we can get the committee and the most other trustees to attend. So, um, uh, you know, and this is, April is the time that we usually do this. Sometimes we've done it as early as late March. Sort of depends on spring break and things like that. So, um, Cynthia will find a date for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll put together a doodle poll and and uh, set up some times. Um, the, the first phase of this is I'll be meeting with business manager Barb Griffiths actually next Monday, and we're going to begin drafting um, the budget, looking at our numbers, looking at our long-range plans, um, looking at the wish list items that the staff have. And um, I'll also begin review of the long-range capital reserve funds so I can um, prepare the resolution for that project. Um, as well as beginning review of the appropriation so that we can um, talk about all those documents together. Can she also do a base summary of what she sees inflation and health care costs and just maybe the key top five 